is the challenger, and he's the WBO featherweight champion of the world, Domingos Bala. Olympic gold medals, two times a world amateur champion. That is not a misprint, the amateur record. That is exactly what it was. He won 396 out of 397 amateur fights. Yeah, Lomachenko is your favorite fighter's favorite fighter. I mean, fighters know, real, recognized, real. They see Lomachenko and they go, oh my God, he's doing stuff that you just haven't seen. He's a phenomenal fighter. But and the reason he is so high on my pound for pound chart is because he's skillfully inclined. The technician or whatever they call him, high tech is definitely him. But he fights anybody that they put in front of him. That's what I love to see. He is a true champion, and he don't care who it may be, what weight it may be, where, when, or why, he will show up. CK, the Raisin Man. Lomachenko just assumes that he can do whatever he wants to do. Yeah, he assumes that he can do whatever he wants to do because he has that type of Muhammad Ali confidence. You know, he thinks nobody can beat him in the ring. Well, uh, he's a lot like Andre Ward, and you're seeing it here in the sense that he can do everything. Maybe even a little more fast twitchy than Andre Ward. Lomachenko, once he establishes that position, has every punch available to him. Proper positioning of his hands, his elbows, uh, moving his head, his upper body movement, his, his footwork. He's very difficult to hit. Very difficult to hit and, you, and very difficult to avoid his punches. He is not going to be able to beat Lomachenko with Lomachenko dictating the fight. His hands are too quick. Lomachenko, spectacular. He can swim without getting wet. It's not that he's not going swimming. He's not avoiding swimming like some boxers. He, he's, he's in the fray, and, and he's able to just, with complete artistry and mastery, hit and not get hit, even though he's in punching range. How much do fans like that? If you're the type of fan who likes that, and to me, that's the highest form of boxing, you're going to love you some Lomachenko. You bet your butt you are. Well, his promoter, Bob Arum, likes to compare him to Pablo Picasso and says, well, you know, Picasso had an unusual style and it took people a long time to recognize and understand exactly what he was doing, but ultimately everybody knew he was brilliant. That's Lomachenko. He's the Picasso of boxing. Greg Serb makes a great point about the angles. The angles, of course, are created by the footwork, as well as, well as the awareness, the vision, the sense out, of distance, out, all the things that go into the sophisticated style of Vasily Lomachenko. And usually, if rarely you get that athleticism with the talent, with the skill, they're not finishers. Why do they need to be exciting? Why do they need to take risks? Lomachenko is the ideal blend of all of that. Super talented physically, exquisitely skilled, willing to take risks, finish his work, and excite the fans. He's my favorite guy to watch in boxing, Jim. He Put over the rules in the dress room. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Keep the ball clean. Touch him up. Touch him up. Let's go. Mikey is a really good technician with, with real good punching power. Better punching power, I think, than Lomachenko. But Lomachenko is a more explosive athlete. Oh. Well, that was pretty explosive. Over. What a right hook. Over. What a sensational right hook. Over. And it doesn't look like Rocky Martinez is going to get up from that. Over. I think my talent in boxing is credited to the genes, the hard work, but the most important reason for that is my dad. I simply call him genius because my dad did everything for me to become the athlete that I am. He raised me the man that I am and he instilled all the little details in me that make me a good boxer.